Church of Uganda for giving me this short moment to greet the pilgrims. Thank you. I have a very comprehensive protocol while we honor the individuals allow me to say fellow brothers and sisters in your respective positions in the society in the church I want to thank God that he has made one of his sons his witness for which we are gathered here. And I've been asked to greet you. Fellow brothers and sisters in Christ in God, those who don't believe in God, at least in humanity. I greet you all for coming to praise God and thank Him for the gift of our beloved martyr, Archbishop Janan Lowo. And to honor Him honor Archbishop. While praising and thanking God, we come to honor our Archbishop, Janan Lohum. I would like to say this. Why do we come here to Wigwang? Because there is a teacher here. There is a teacher of faith, of truth, teacher of courage, teacher of justice, teacher of peace, teacher of reconciliation. So every time we come to learn from him how to live as a person of faith in Christ, in his resurrection, in his truth, and his courage, in the justice, and the peace, and the reconciliation. Therefore, he's a model for us, a model to follow, self-sacrifice for Christ, and to show an example how to live like Christ on this earth. My brother, Archbishop, John and Laum, although I didn't live with you, but I saw you when I was a young seminarian. You were a leader. And you stood for Christ, for your people. Not only in Uganda, but also in Boga Zaire. So my brother, Archbishop, you are in his footstep. My fellow brother bishops, that is the responsibility he has left for us. Archbishop Janan Lohum. For today, this moment, we must stand where he stood and speak with that confidence and the trust in God that we lead our people to follow Christ and our nation, Uganda, to follow Christ. For God and my country, thank you. Wish you God's success. Thank you.